Hello people, welcome back to another episode from Ginger Gone Walkabout, I'm Kai. Today we've come out with my mate Pete, that's my sleep set up there, I'll show you that in a bit later. Pete's burger gun, it's just there. But we're only out doing an overnighter tonight, nothing special. It's going to be relatively warm all night at that, but I mean it's about 19 degrees it's meant to be tonight. So it's definitely going to be fairly warm. But I'm glad you clicked on. Let's get on with the adventure. Stick around and see what we get up to. Right guys, as you can see now, I've taken a quick stop at the Malago. This is a fresh water spring that runs through Hartcliffe and down into Bedminster. You might as well say this is the lifeblood of Hartcliffe, because without it, in a sense, quite a lot of the greenery that's there wouldn't be growing. Because this splits off into multiple different estuaries, edderies and streams and everything. One of them actually runs underneath my dad's garden. But this thing, you can literally drink straight out of. There's no need to purify or boil any of the water. It's fresh. It's actually safer to drink than your tap water. Because there's a lot more chemicals and pollutants in your tap water than there is what's coming out of that. But if you do know this place, please respect it. Because this is a very special place for me. Not just me, but quite a lot of other people I know. So, so if you are up in the area, Feel free to check the water out, get yourself hydrated, especially in hot weather like today, because at the moment it's about 30 degrees. So, yeah, we're going to finish hydrating, we're going to chill out and rest, and then we're going to make a move off to our next location where we're going to be spending the night. I'll show you my kit in a minute, because it's something you probably haven't seen me use for a while. Right guys, this is all my kit, stuff that is actually kit wise, obviously I've got some clothing there, hat, jacket, t-shirt, some socks, because obviously I sweated on the way up here, here I got black Olap lander, a fire rod, a light piece of fat wood, I got my food bag with me Billy Pot lid, Bible, axe, in that bag's me mill bank bag and just there's some cordage just in case and obviously the wool blanket is what I'm using tonight I haven't got a mat or anything I haven't got a tarp or anything like that either so that is what I'm going to be using tonight if I get cold obviously there's the hat and jacket there obviously the extra set of socks is going on anyway regardless and obviously this is my tools food bible axe and yeah obviously but, but. so that is where i'm sleeping tonight and just so you're aware that's like right next to the fire pit this isn't our shelter Petey's there we're just using it because there's a huge fire pit here but we'll pack that can out with us tomorrow along with those bars that bit there is peter wood so there you go fire's lit <laughs> Not every day has to be a bushcraft day. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Now nah, I'll probably just start the fire again tomorrow with a fire still if it goes out. But right now, good old trusty butane. As you look and see, I've got a nice lovely fire and in the background, I don't know if you can make out, there's bacon on a stick, so we're doing bushcraft bacon. And yes people, we have a nice, lovely fire. Hoorah. And that people is bacon on a stick. You know how it is. You know how it is. I apologise about the airplane. But yes, bacon. Lovely, lovely. Good morning everyone, time 6.20, I've got up. Bit on the tire side. 
Right, I just slept in my wool blanket last night. Absolutely comfy. Cotch, to be honest. I didn't have a roll mat or anything, but I didn't lose any heat ray to the ground. I stayed toasty warm, amongst other things, really. It's actually pretty nice. I'm going to be going down to get some water in a minute, because I want some bro. And I can't be bothered to go last night to get any. So, yeah, i got to go now, basically. So, see you in a minute when I go down and get some water. Right, everyone. I'm basically just going down to get some fluids now, so I can have a brew in the background there. That is Bristol. And look how beautiful that looks. Obviously, I'm in the woodland just up there. So, yeah, I've got it this way to go get water. Basically, it's from the Malago water source again. So, I'll go down there, I'll collect some fluids. Then I'm going to head back to camp. Get the fire going, get a broski on. I'm just generally going to chill out. Have a good day for now. So I'm just going to take it a step at a time and just see where it goes. Absolutely beautiful. And it is only about half past six in the morning, mind. It's not like even gone seven. Most people are still be in bed. But it's generally quite nice out here. It's not too cold. I got my shorts on still. Just pulled my socks up just to kind of protect my legs against some of the thistles and that I about to walk through to get down there. But ain't been too bad. Also I'm out down there, I'll probably try and get some like bits of tinder or whatever. Because there's thistles and that there. That lot is pretty good for a flash tinder to be honest. Yeah. Lovely day though. Absolutely beautiful day. How could you not want to wake up to that? That's gorgeous. I don't know where Petey's gone this morning, I haven't seen him to be honest. I woke up, he wasn't there. I smoked a fag, a normal fag. And yeah, I haven't seen him since like, last night. He, he got a bit cold during, at night. Last night he was saying when I woke up slightly for a piss. So I helped him get some firewood and get a fire going quickly. But when I woke up the fire had already gone out. And I'd only been asleep for like three hours extra. Makes sense. So, he'll probably be there when I get back in that. So, you're able to see everyone then, I suppose. Alright guys, we're all packed up and we're on our way off. I got my wool blanket bed roll. Pete's got his burger on. And now we're basically just walking out the woodland. Gonna be heading back towards Bristol. I'm gonna go have a bro. You know it is people, I have a bro. Obviously this morning I've had a nice lovely coffee. It's absolutely beautiful. Went down and touched the spot. Perfect. But yeah, the time now is only what's uh it's about five minutes to eight. And we're already heading back. It's a beautiful day. And it'd be a shame to miss any of it. So, here are people. I'll see you in a minute. Right, everyone. I'm glad you stuck through to the end. It's really appreciated. I, I thank you. But... Yeah, like I say, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Feel free to hit the like button if you'd like. More than welcome to leave me a comment. I try and get back to everyone. Like, I ain't gonna lie. 
sometimes YouTube don't show them to me for a couple of days and then they pop up. So if that happens, I'm not ignoring you. It's just Facebook or uh, YouTube hasn't notified me to say people's commented. And as soon as I see it, I will comment back. But yeah, I thank you again. Like I say, feel free to hit the like button. Leave a comment if you'd like. If you enjoyed this type of crap, with me just wandering about, hence the name of the channel, Ginger Gone Walkabout, then hit the little sub button. And if you really enjoy them, there's a little bell notification next to it. Click on it, select all notifications. As I've got quite a lot of videos going to be pumping out for the next couple of weeks probably. But, yeah. On that note, people... I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you have an amazing day. God bless you and sayonara.